uh, basically the starting point of our project was the visual uh, appearance of the car. So we imagined that this car could be um, could become a brain. So it's got like the shape of a brain. If you can, the central system of this brain will be then the river, the sorry, the lake, which has got this uh, Y uh, shape and uh, an island, which we imagine as it, it could flow. And uh, the flow of the island could be the catalyst for the exchange of the information. So by touching the uh, edges of the membrane of the lake, it would allow the random exchange of this information amongst the people. Uh, okay, well, yesterday, uh, when we were going around uh, the park, um, you know, we were walking down the, we walk down the park and we see a pelican. Uh, and it was just a big shock, it was a big surprise. It's like, like, what is that, you know? Like, where did that come from? Yeah, you know, you all want to go to it and say, oh, take a picture of me in a pelican. And, uh, like, how great is it? And we were thinking that, um, I don't know, this shock factor, this thing, like, what is that? Um, and that, that was a kind of, you know, that stayed in my head. That, and in a way, that's the first step of, of learning. If you remember something, you're going to you know, that's like a big way of like learning. Okay, so what we decided was, and it's actually um, increased the, you know, actually enhanced the bug um, in such that it's, uh, it's, it's big enough to actually go in, um, and this will be your university. Um, you know, inside would be something, you know, very, very uh, like, like the matrix, you know, your, your, your key to the world, the rest of the world, is, you know, through this one space. So, you know, this is the buds. Buds die, they grow, they come from the earth, they go back down to the earth. And, you know, as such, you know, you go with the fashion, the bud will go with the fashion. Okay? Alright? <laughs> We're bringing all these fashionable buds, fashionable buds together and connecting them the bud escape, which is the network. These pods, they, they, they walk? Uh, once on the ground, they come alive, actually. Um, and you know, <laughs> they pick themselves up, they crash and things. There was a very frightening, there was not very frightening image, which looked like a vagina with a floor. If you stress the unit, then you know it's a unit. Uh, and that's in a sense a leftover of the institution, thing, which I'm, I'm, I'm sort of progressively dubious about this morning. I think that there's still the wish on the part of many of all the groups to still have the institution. Uh, it would be interesting if the brief had been not to gender part of sort of London in general or you know, the country. I know it would be harder to understand why you why you identified it. But as soon as you put the perimeter around it, you effectively set up an institution and say something happens to me when I go through the gate, even if I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. And I think the, the uni wigwam kind of uh, <laughs> it sort of reinforces that. It can, I mean, there's another issue which we haven't got time to really raise, but I think there is a sort of, I'm not sure it's a misconstruction or it's the passage of time, but there's an aspect of, of one's memory of underground and one's rememory of it, because you have to realise that us survivors almost act as art historians in ourselves. You know, there's some of you in the room who are paid to be art historians, but we, we were there, so we can be forgiven for having an additional view. Um, but nonetheless, it's a long time ago. The, the, the point I was going to was the, the question of did archigram stuff have to buzz about? Now, there's quite a lot of interesting archigram stuff that didn't buzz about. But nonetheless, there's, there, one of the sort of characteristics of it that's very easy to grasp hold of without really knowing what it's all about is that it all buzzed about. It was anti architecture, number one. It, some of it had rounded corners, number two. Some of it turned into something else, number three, and it all buzzed about, number four. If you knew that, you could sort of, you, know, you could have a couple of years on knowing what art programs about. Now, I'm being highly <laughs> cynical here because I think that the really interesting art program projects might have buzzed about, might have had legs, might have turned into something else, might have had around the corner, but that was not the particular issue program to program. And then I think that. Um, an academic project 
just as real academia, the really successful institution, department, school, whatever, is the one that has more than one string to its bow. Doesn't just have good teachers or you know nice mock flights or interesting program or bright people or something funny going on in the corner or a chip shop next door, all of which may be factors. It is it's the one which can sort of adapt to cybernetics almost instantaneously and needs several. And I think the pro problem with projects, particularly two-day projects, is that breathlessly you come up with something that looks like something. But the really interesting architectural projects are ones even with oneself or, or, other, or the others that we still don't fully understand, the ones which just stopped where there was a degree of ambiguity between the required performance of an object and the territory. The territory might be prescribed, probably was not, but even when it was let loose, would work better in certain circumstances than others. And I think that's the, the sort of thing that the late Cedric Price was brilliant at. I think the real characteristic where he was ahead of us was actually that he had an extremely mobile conceptual mind vis-a-vis -vis the role of components or constituents or policies or diagrams or territories. And that is the hardest thing of all to get across because it doesn't it isn't a succession of one lines. This is where you where you are willing to think into the role of a piece of apparatus or a notion that it may act irregularly. In the same way I was saying earlier, you know, the most interesting student is the one who doesn't do the project but, but takes off on some something that he or she discovers within the project. And so I think that's the really interesting thing. I will, I will go home tonight not particularly remembering any one of your projects, but thinking, hmm, parks, ducks, people who come from lots of different places to study in London, you know, and something like, you know, might turn into it. Tortoise with, with a wire on the top. Or not. <coughs> Did you follow what I'm saying? It's, it's this rule. But I can understand, you know, the, the Barbie doll sells well because it's a, it's a doll. But what would happen if you had the clothing from the Barbie doll, which is not one to one human clothing, and then look for something to wear it? It becomes a much more interesting. Peter was mentally. Um, denying the project, getting away from the assignment. And, and I thought, sort of, you, the young lady, the young woman, I should say, yeah. um, in the park yesterday, you had a project that was a play on words. And it's interesting that the first group ended up with a play on words project, which was Park Your Mind, Mind Your Park. But you, the chief, this young woman, had a uh, idea about um, car park. And St. James's Park, and thinking it was merging the two, which I thought would lead to such a wonderfully radical transformation. Ideally suitable for a one day project, I think. Mean. You know, and I could see a lot of stories in James Park. You know, and you had some dark idea about how it was all green on top and getting yellow. But I thought it was stunning, that idea of the thinking of the car path in St. James Park in the same breath. And that was another direction we could have gone in. 